Welcome to another episode of Tinkering Experiments. Today we are going to leave our 3D printed PLA print in the freezer and find out whether or not it is easier to remove the support. I'm not sure whether or not this will work, but I guess we will find out in a couple hours. First, let's take a look at removing the support before we put it in the freezer. It is relatively hard to remove the supports on this model, and it also doesn't come off very clean. It does require more work afterwards. Now let's put it in the freezer for a period of time. So in the end, I actually left the print in there overnight for 20 hours. So let's see if it works. Hmm, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of difference than before. Removing the support is just the same before we put it into the freezer. It's still very hard to remove and it also doesn't come out very clean. Let's try the other print. Hmm, this is actually really hard to remove the support. It doesn't seem like it's budging much. I guess this doesn't work. Well, there we have it. We tried putting our 3D printed PLA print into the freezer to find out whether or not it would be easier to remove the supports. And it actually doesn't work. I guess we just gotta keep looking for new ways to remove support efficiently and easier and cleaner. Before I end, I just want to remind everyone about Tinkering New. The platform has a lot of teaching resources like 3D printed courses, Steam challenges, and CAD tutorials. So be sure to check it out. That's the end of our experiment. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up, and if you did not, then a thumbs down below. Remember to subscribe and comment on what experiments you would like to see in the future. Thank you for watching. Tinker out.